Hello you guys, welcome to Sprinkle Sugar Pops. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this beautiful Valentine's Day hot chocolate bombs. They're super easy to make. So let's get started. So this is all you need. You need some Vite sprinkles. Um, you'll also be needing some fondant letter cutters. I got these from Michaels, I believe. Um, also, you need uh, this fondant in the color Silver Shimmer. Hot Cocoa Mix. You can use any brand you want. Honestly, there's a lot of them. Um, white chocolate. You also need milk chocolate. I forgot to add this here. A popsicle stick to mix the chocolate. Also, this edible glitter by Sugar Art. Oh my god, you guys. It's amazing. You guys need to get this glitter. Honestly, like the best. Also, we will be using Color Mill. Color Mill is like my favorite brand. And the color raspberry. Heart shaped marshmallows. I got these from Target. I will be putting links down below in the description box. And also these mini marshmallows. A fondant roller pin because we will be using this to roll out the um, shimmer, silver shimmer fondant and parchment paper because we will be putting this on top of this um hot plate so we can clean our hot chocolate bombs you'll see later on on this video okay so now let's start um melting our chocolate first start with 30 seconds and then if you notice like it needs more time then add another 30 but just keep an eye on your chocolate because you do not want your chocolate to burn as you can see, it needs more time, so I will do another 30 seconds and also make sure you move the chocolate around. Okay, so once our chocolate is fully melted, we can now start making our hot chocolate bombs. I forgot to mention that you do need this mold. I got it from Lavender's Bake Shop. I will be putting the link down below. Okay, so once you're done, you're gonna pop them in the freezer for like about five minutes until the chocolate gets hard. It's time for the second layer because you don't want your bomb to be too thin. Also keep in mind, you don't want it to be too thick. I like to do the second layer just on the half top because once you pour the milk, the hot milk on top of your bomb, it will, um, What's it called? It will dissolve or open faster than if you do like a thick layer all around. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be harder to melt your bomb. You're gonna pop them in the freezer again for like about one minute. So meanwhile, your bombshells are in the freezer. Heat up your plate for like about three minutes in the microwave. So what you want to do now is grab your hot chocolate bombshells and put them against the hot plate just so you can clean the edges because this is very important. Your edges must be super like clean um, in order for it to seal nicely. So once your edges are clean, you're going to start adding your hot cocoa mix inside your shell. I normally add 5 teaspoons and then um, start adding your heart shaped marshmallows inside. Once 
Once you're done adding all the goodies inside, grab the other shell, clean up the edges, and seal. So now let's go ahead and color some chocolate so we can drizzle our chocolate bombs. For the milk chocolate bomb, you want to do the same process as the white one, but for the drizzle part, you want to drizzle the whole thing completely. Okay, so once you're done drizzling, start adding your edible glitter. This glitter is by The Sugar Art. I highly recommend you guys to get this glitter. It's so freaking cute. I am obsessed. They have a lot of color options, so go check them out. Okay, you guys, we're almost done, okay? <laughs> we just need to do the um, letters. So basically, just grab a little piece of fondant and we're gonna start flattening it out with the roller pin. So now that you're done with your letters, start adding them on your hot chocolate bombs. Um, I normally just place it on top and press it down a little bit and it sticks to the bomb. But if you want to um, just be safe, <laughs> uh, you can always add a little bit of chocolate under the letter and it will glue um, to the bomb. We are finally done with our beautiful Valentine's Day hot chocolate bombs. Now it's time to package them. I like to add mini marshmallows around the bombs just so it can give it that vibe, you know? <laughs> and I also added the um, heart shaped marshmallows just so it could look cute. Like. Now 
look at how cute these are like you guys need to recreate these bombs and also if you do recreate this please tag me on instagram at sprinkle sugar pop just so i can show off <laughs> your guys's work i would really really love for you guys to recreate this um but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video i am so excited to start this youtube um journey with you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you won't miss any videos in the future thank you